We're here at the 2014 Great American Insurance Summer Spectacular where Colin Chartier just marked a 224 on Sensatious to take home the championship. Colin, tell us about your run. Ah, uh, well, you know, we were first out, and so all four of my guys were out there, and we were all four on the same three cows. And usually being first out, you know, you don't really cut the three you want, you kind of cut shape, but we went down there and we cut the three best we thought, and it just, just worked out. And how did you feel you were mounted coming into this? Oh, you know, she's gotten better every round, um, you know, from the start. The only problem I had, I had a little trouble with cutting on her the first couple rounds, so I was really wanted to be sure about getting up there and cutting and not having a problem cutting. And uh, I knew my mare was good enough to do, you know, mark a big score, so I was happy with her. And is there a particular kind of cow that you want to cut with her? Well, you know, pretty much with any, you kind of want to cut one that's going to stay in the middle. And, you know, every every cow we cut today, it built and it got better and better. And the deg degree of difficulty got better and stronger. So it just panned out to be a good run. And you had, what, 25 seconds when you pulled that third one out? I don't even know. I just knew I, I was going down there to get this kind of gray, faint baldy. And I went to the back gate and it kind of parted like the sea. And it trotted up there and I thought, well, it's do or die now so I just got to go for it and it just worked out. Yeah you definitely set the bar high tonight and tell us about your cheering crowd over here. Well first it starts with my mom she's she's definitely the biggest fan and the loudest and people know when she's here but it's it's good to go places and have a cheering crowd it really boosts your confidence you know so it's good. And you come from quite the line of horsemen um, your dad was in the non-pro or is in the non-pro hall of fame and then you had he was on your right side. Your brother, Ariel, was on your left side, and yep. he was recently inducted into the Hall of yep. Fame. Yep. So what were they saying to you through your run? Oh, you know, they were just telling me, you know, make sure you get up being first. You want to get up, clear that herd, make sure you have enough room. And, you know, they were just it just in my ear, you know, get left, get right, you know, just talking and just being there. And, you know, it's a little things, but it helps. Like that third cut, uh, I can hear my dad saying, trot up there, go for it. And so it just worked out, and it's good to have that, that feeling in your corner, and especially – two guys out front, Austin and Paul, I mean, they're the two best out there you can get, and uh, they really helped me a bunch. And you won the John Deere Open last year at this event as well, right? Yep, yes I did. So how does it feel to claim two in a row? Well, it feels really good. You know, that first one's always the most memorable because it's your first one, but it's pretty cool to come back. You know, you got so many good riders and, and, and horses in this event that to come back and do it again, it's a pretty cool feeling. Well, where do you feel like her strongest points are? What do you like most about her? You know, she's just real cowy, real cow smart. She, you know, she's not much of a, she can, but she's not much of a run and stopper. She's right there in the middle, and she gets real low, and the ears come up, and, you know, it's kind of, kind of got the eye appeal to her is what I think. So hopefully we'll be seeing more of you, too. I hope so, too. Congratulations. Thanks.